Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be about how you can make your text look like a neon sign. It's actually really cool, so we're going to do that. And um, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is make a canvas for whatever size you want. If you want it to be a profile picture, if you want it to be a wallpaper, whatever you want. Make it that size. I chose just thumbnail size. And we're going to start by getting our text. So go over to the text tool over here and just click on your canvas. And I'm going to go for just one letter. You can go for multiple, like a whole word or whatever. But I'm just going to do a C. And you want a font that is thin like the signs are. You don't want a thick one. So I found one called Carla. And I think it'll work pretty good. So I'm just going to center this the best I can. And now we're ready to double click on our text layer. Go to stroke and you're going to want to add a white stroke. And I can't see it because the background's white. So let me just change the background color to something else so I can just see it better. Okay. And for the um, text, you just want to turn the fill to zero. So select it and turn the fill down. Basically, it just gets rid of the inside and leaves the stroke, which is what we want. So now we're ready to move on to actually making it glow. Actually, before we move on to the text, let's add a background. I'm just going to add something as simple as br a brick wall. I think the darker ones look better, so I'm just going to copy this and bring it over to um, my photo P. It's a little small, so I'm gonna edit free transform. And I'm gonna make this a little bigger. There we go. So just a good amount, looks fine. And then move it below the C layer. So this is in front. Now double click on your background layer and go to gradient overlay. We're gonna make it have like a circle outline where it's like light in the middle, but kind of dark on the outside. So change the style to radial and click the reverse box. And now just change the lens mode to multiply. So you'll see it has like the uh, spotlight effect on it and you can adjust the settings if you want. I'll probably come back to it and adjust it later, but for now that'll be good. And also it's kind of off center. so. I'm going to try to center this image better. Uh, I don't know. Why does it keep doing that? That's so annoying. Okay. So now that now the image is centered. Ish. Okay, so double click on your C layer and we'll start adding the glow. You want to add another stroke, so click this little plus sign and change this color to whatever color your light is going to be. Mine's going to be like purple. If yours going to be green, then make it green and make it like this. Like I chose 16. You want it to be barely around the white so it starts to glow off strong, if that makes any sense. Now we can add some drop shadows, which you're like, what? This is actually the glow we're going to use. We're not going to use the outer glow. So I'm going to change the color to the glow and I'm going to change the spread and the size about there. I want the angle to be 90 so it's like straight on top of it rather than to the left or to the right. I'll just type it in 90 and I can change the size up a little more to give it that glow, but we can't add the glow effect too, actually that I think about it so I'll do that outer glow change it to the color of your glow of course change the blend mode to normal opacity to 100 and turn the spread and size up however much looks good like so all right so now we're gonna add an inner glow check that box and you can copy my settings because I already have them if I mean you might have to tweak some things but you get the idea. Just make it fill in the inside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add another stroke. So click the little plus sign. But this time this stroke is going to be positioned on the inside. 
And I'm also going to go up to our first stroke and change the color to purple so it blends in. But I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller to where it looks like the uh, outline or something. So yeah, like that. And then I can add more drop shadows. Honestly, I think I should just work off of this one that we already have. I'm gonna try to make the spread a little bit bigger. Not like that. Turn the opacity down a bit. Just so it kind of, uh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we can work on the background layer if you want. Like we could adjust it to be like where it's like only this amount or if we want more. Personally, I like it like this. And we could try blurring it. I don't know what this will look like. That looks awful. That's what that looks like. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. I mean, you can, you can write your own name. Let me just uh, type my name. It's lagging. I don't know why it does this. So if you try resizing it, you might have to go through, like clearly you're gonna have to go back through and change some of the settings for the uh, inside stroke. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know. I think it looks better with just uh, the one letter. I wouldn't recommend typing like a whole name, honestly, but for a letter, I think that's pretty good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If this helped you, leave a like and subscribe. Join our Discord down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.